डियर फ्रेंड टुडे इफ वी डिस्कस द एनाटॉमी ऑफ द टेरिगो पेरेटाइन गैंग्लिया टेरिगो पेरेटाइन गैंग्लिया इज द वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट गैंग्लिया ऑफ द पेरासिंपेटेटिक सेल सिस्टम दिस गैंग्लिया टोपोग्राफिकली और वी कैन से द एनाटॉमिकली कनेक्टेड विद द Maxillary nerve. We have seen the anatomy of maxillary nerve. The maxillary nerve passes through the pterygoplatean fossa. This maxillary nerve is connected to the pterygoplatean ganglia. But functionally, this pterygoplatean ganglia is connected to the greater petrosal nerve, which is a branch of the facial nerve. We will see how it is connected. Now, first, draw the diagram of how this ganglia is present here. It is present here. Okay, look here. This ganglia present. Inside the pterygoplatean fossa, here is the wall of the pterygoplatean fossa. Okay, here this is the foramen rotundum. Okay, this foramen rotundum, and for the foramen rotundum, maxillary nerve comes out. You know, maxillary nerve comes and enter into the pterygoplatean fossa. And this is the pterygoplatean fossa. This is the medial wall, and this is the posterior wall of the pterygoplatean fossa. Now, here, this is the here the pterygoplatean ganglia here, which is connected to the two roots of the maxillary nerve. Okay, now. This is the here the sphenopalatine foramen. This is the here pterygoid canal, opening of pterygoid canal, and so it is slightly superior to here. This is the pterygoid opening, pterygoid canal opening here, and from here. So what's happen now? Look here. This thing is situated in the pterygoplatean fossa. If you see the pterygoplatean fossa, actually, pterygoplatean fossa has the superior wall, inferior wall, medial wall, lateral, anterior, and posterior. Superior here, superior it is formed by the medial side formed by the sphenoid wall, body of the sphenoid wall. While laterally it is communicated with the infraorbital fissure through the and enters to the orbit. Inferiorly, this is formed by the posterior meeting of the posterior anterior and posterior wall. Here, the anterior wall is formed by the here. Look here, this is the anterior wall is formed by the posterior surface of the maxilla bone. This is the posterior surface of the maxilla bone. Posterior wall is formed by the root of the pterygoid process of the sphenoid bone. This is the pterygoid process here. Okay, here. So this is the pterygoid process of the Uh, is formed by the posterior wall is formed medial wall medial wall is formed by the here the palatine process okay here palatine process of the here the palatine wall here on the un, in inner side here okay palatine process here while laterally laterally this sphenoid uh, pterygoplatine uh, from fossa opens for the pterygo maxillary fissure this is the pterygo maxillary fissure here it opens for the pterygo maxillary fissure into the In front of the first star, so these are the boundary. So if you see here, this is the medial boundary here. Okay, here, here is the lateral boundary here in front, and this is the posterior boundary. Here will be the anterior boundary. Clear? Now, this is the the other branch. This is the other branch. We will come later on. Okay. Other diagram. Just I draw the diagram which will show the branches here.
इससे भी कैनाल टेलीगोइड कैनाल ही है Maxillary nerve first come. Okay, this is the maxillary nerve is coming from posterior side. Yeah, yeah. This is here. This uh, this is the actually foramen rotator nerve, which is in the shape of the canal. Okay, shape of the canal. This sort of foramen rotator nerve maxillary nerve comes. Passes through the pterygopalatine fossa. This area, the pterygopalatine fossa, and in the pterygopalatine fossa here, this through this nerve, pterygopalatine area is hanged. Okay, by the two roots. Clear? And then it enters into the infraorbital here, the groove. This is the infraorbital groove. Then reaches into the infraorbital canal here, and then passes through the infraorbital foramen. Okay. Yeah. So this is here. How this? Now, what are the branches of this pterygopalatine ganglia here? Now, if understand, understand here, pterygopalatine ganglia is the delay station of the secretomotor fiber which comes from the facial nerve. Here, this is the facial nerve, the genuine of the facial nerve. Yeah, let me show you. Okay, and these are the fiber, the secretomotor fiber which passes through the Gatorade petrosal nerve and enters into the Gatorade petrosal canal and then relay inside the here the pre-ganglionic fiber relay into the pterygopalatine ganglia and from the here the post-ganglionic fiber passes to the root and then passes to the one of the branch of the maxillary nerve we will see the zygomatic nerve here so this is this is here. The pterygopalatine ganglia, which is a relay station for the gatorpetrosal uh, nerve fiber, which carries the secretomotor fiber to the nuclear ganglia. Otherwise, what happens? This ganglia gives rise to the branches, sensory branches, to other different area of the head and neck region, like the orbit, nasal, palate, pharynx. Here, these branches, not the branches of pterygopalatine uh, ganglia, but these are branches. Nerve fiber comes from the maxillary nerve. And passes through the pterygopalatine ganglia without relay. Okay, and these are the sensory branches. When we say these are the branches of the maxillary nerve, the supply supply means not the motor supply. This is the sensory branches actually, which come from here in this area, in this area, and then passes through the ganglia without relay, enters into the maxillary nerve, and then from the maxillary nerve it runs okay into the trigeminal ganglia. Now, what are the branches of this? Pterygopalatine ganglia. Look here. Pterygopalatine ganglia gives rise to the four sets of the branches. One which goes to the orbit. Okay. One which goes to the nasal cavity. One which goes to the palate. Okay. Here, palate here. This is the hard palate and soft palate. 
and one go to the phalanx, pharyngeal branches. So we have the orbital branches, nasal branches, palatine branches, and the pharyngeal branches. Okay, what are these branches? First, the orbital branches. Okay, this is the orbital branch. Comes from the ganglia. Okay, I am drawing from the different color here. Yeah. Come from the ganglia. Okay. And passes through the actually the nerve, the nerve, and here these are the orbital branches. And these orbital branches supply the periosteum and the membrane, mucous membrane of the here, yeah, the orbit and the orbital bar here. Yeah. So these are the orbital branches here. Yeah. First branch is here, clear. And these branches also supply when passes through the orbit here, yeah, it also supply the sphenoidal. Air sinuses. See. Okay. Yeah. Now the second branch is the palatine branches. Or okay, the palatine branches here comes through the greater palatine. Yeah, this is the here. Yeah. Uh, this is the greater palatine canal. This is greater palatine nerves here, yeah, which passes through the greater palatine canal. This is the greater palatine canal here. Yeah. So these branches passes through the greater palatine. Okay. And then. It comes out through the greater palatine foramen, where between the here, the pterygoid plate here and the palatine bone. This is the pterygoid palatine, greater palatine foramen here. Okay, so this greater palatine foramen then part reaches here inferior to the palate. Okay, by the side of the palate here. Okay, and then it passes through the incisive foramen. Okay, incisive foramen. So this is the greater palatine. Yeah. So this greater palatine now comes from the pericardial uh, ganglia, passes through the greater palatine canal, comes through the greater palatine foramen, and then runs below the here yeah, this hard palate by the side of the alveolar arches here, and then passes anteriorly, and then passes through the incisive foramen. This is the incisive foramen here, and then enters through the nasal cavity here. Now when it descends downward, it gives to the Lesser palatine nerve. Okay. The lesser palatine nerve passes through the lesser palatine foramen. Okay. Yeah. Lesser palatine foramen and then supply the soft palate, mucous membrane of the soft palate here. So this is lesser palatine nerve. Now, when this greater palatine nerve descends downward here in the greater palatine canal here, it gives us to the nasal branches here. These are the Posterior inferior nasal branches here. These are posterior inferior nasal branches. We supply the lower quadrant of the nasal uh, nasal cavity here. Okay, these are the posterior quadrant, posterior inferior quadrant of the nasal cavity. Okay, in the territory of the inferior nasal concha and the middle meatus. So these are the inferior posterior inferior nasal branches, which come through the greater palatine. Yeah. Now this inferior, this lesser palatine nerve, when passes through the yeah, inferior uh, lesser palatine foramen and reaches towards the soft palate, this nerve also carry the taste sensation here from the soft palate here. Okay, this gives the soft palate sensation to the soft palate here, and then it reaches to the greater palatine, uh, so uh, this terrible palatine foramen. Okay, and then passes. Okay. Passes through the here the nerve of the pterygoid canal. Okay. Yeah. And then it delay over here and then reaches superiorly and enters into the superior salivary nucleus here. Okay. So this is the how the taste sensation passes through the here. Now important is here understood here this ganglia is connected to the pterygoid this maxillary nerve by the two roots. So this is the nerve. Okay, this is connected to the two roots here. Now, this ganglia, as I told you, parasympathetic ganglia. So, this parasympathetic ganglia here yeah, supplies the secretomotor fiber towards the lacrimal gland, nasal, and the mucous gland here. How the secretomotor fiber comes here? The secretomotor fiber, parasympathetic fiber, comes from the superior salivary nucleus here, yeah, from the from the bones. Okay, where the facial nerve takes to the junction of the pons and the medulla. So, this secretomotor fiber, okay, very ganglionic parasympathetic fiber comes from the 
so this liberty nucleus then passes through the JNU, okay? Then it passes through the getter petrocell now, okay? It, so the getter petrocell now, it enters into the pipigoid canal here and it fuses with the sympathetic fiber. These are the sympathetic fiber here for the deep petrocell now. Sympathetic fiber comes from the uh, fiber around the internal carotid artery here. And the internal carotid artery reaches towards the carotid canal. So sympathetic fiber from the superior cervical sympathetic ganglia passes around the uh, this internal carotid artery. Then this, it, from the, this fiber, it now starts with the deep petrocell now. Okay, here. Yeah. Then deep petrocell now and deep petrocell now reaches, fuses with the central petrocell now. And one the now of the pterygoid canal here. Yeah. Okay. And this new pterygoid canal now, the pre-gaglionic parasympathetic fiber, okay, relay here, okay, and like that, I'm drawing here the diagram here, a pre-gaglionic parasympathetic fiber relay here, okay, here, yeah. the gaglionic fiber passes through the root here, and then it enters into the maxillary now, and from the maxillary now, maxillary now give rise to the zygomatic branch, okay, towards the orbit, okay. This zygomatic branch divide into the zygomatico facial and zygomatico temporal. Okay? So this is zygomatico temporal and this is the zygomatico facial now. Yeah. So now this fiber passes through the here, yeah, the zygomatic nerve first, it passes through the zygomatico temporal now. Okay. Now this zygomatico temporal now comes out for the zygomatic temporal foramen. But this now, this fiber, the secretomotor fiber, joins with the lacrimal nerve here. This lacrimal nerve, which comes from the ophthalmic nerve here. So this secretomotor fiber unites with the lacrimal nerve and then supplies the lacrimal gland here. Okay. So how this pregenerative fiber to the lacrimal gland comes? It comes from this pivotal nucleus, passes the facial nerve, journey of the facial nerve, okay, passes of the Greater petrosal now, unite with the deep petrosal now to form the greater and now the derivative canal, then pre ganglionic parasympathetic fiber lay here, while the sympathetic fiber, which are the post ganglionic fiber, do not relay here. Both fiber, the post ganglionic parasympathetic fiber and the post ganglionic sympathetic fiber passes through this zygomatic now, branch of the zygomatic now, divide into zygomatic facial, zygomatic temporal. This fiber passes through the zygomatic temporal. Now this fiber separate from the zygomatic temporal, unite with the lacrimal now, and then supply the lacrimal gland here. So this is how the sympathetic and parasympathetic fiber passes here. Now this fiber here, okay? This I told you the fiber, the test fiber from the soft palate passes through the lesser palatine nerve. Okay? So the lesser palatine nerve here. It passes through the pterygoplatin ganglia and from the pterygoplatin ganglia passes through the pterygoid getter petrosal nerve which is rather the genu of the uh, this facial nerve there the cell body is located here okay and from the genu here it enters into the pons junction of the pons and the medulla and ends into the uh, tract nucleus of the tractus solitaire these are the taste sensation fiber which come from the soft pellet here. So these are the two branches we have seen, the orbital branch and the palatine branch. Okay. Now the third branch is the, the nasal branches. Okay. What are the nasal branches? Nasal branch here comes through this ganglia and enters into the sphenopalatine foramen. Okay. And for the sphenopalatine foramen, it enters into the nasal cavity. Okay, here. And in the nasal cavity, it now divides into the lateral posterior superior. Okay, branches and the median posterior superior branches. Okay, here. lateral posterior superior branches, median posterior superior branches. Lateral posterior superior branches supply the lateral valve of the nose in the area of the Superior meatus and the middle meatus. Okay, here are the superior branches. Okay, now the medial nasal branches. Okay, medial posterior uh, superior branches here or nasal branches here. So this passes through the vomer bone in the canal of the vomer bone here and comes almost anteriorly here towards the incisive foramen which opens into the nasal cavity here. Okay, 
and supply the septum. Okay, medial part of the septum, superior part, and the inferior part here. So this is the medial, posterior, superior branches, the nasal branches. Okay, here. Yeah. So this is the sphenopalatine. This is the long sphenopalatine nerve or the nasopalatine nerve here. The short nasopalatine nerve. Okay. Now the fourth branch is the small branch which passes for the palatovaginal canal. Yeah. So this is the palatovaginal canal and these branches passes for the palatovaginal canal here. These are the pharyngeal branches here. It passes to other pharynx. Okay. And carry the sensation the pharynx here around the auditory tube here. So these are the pharyngeal branches here which passes through the palato vaginal canal posteriorly. So in short here the pericopalatine ganglia and here you can see here uh, this is the spinopalatine branch here which passes through the spinopalatine foramen. Okay here it divides into the lateral and the medial superior branches, posterior superior branches, okay, here, yeah. yeah. there are nasal branches, lateral, posterior superior, medial, posterior superior, medial branches, okay, this is the here, this is a pterygoid cana, now of the pterygoid cana here, okay, here, yeah. this is a palato, vaginal branch here, okay, here, yeah. this is the, here, yeah. The left hand branches. Okay, left hand branches. So, this is it here. So, this is the pterygoid canal. So, the pterygoid canal here, the pre ganglionic parasympathetic fiber ends. Okay, here. Yeah. And the posterior start here. Yeah. And this is the palatovaginal canal because this ganglia is located here, lateral to the pterygoid canal and medial to the palatovaginal canal. These are the, which are in the lateral medial side of the, yeah, okay, here. Yeah. And this is the palatine branches here, yeah. this palatine branches here, yeah. the long palatine branch, the lateral palatine branch passes through the lateral palatine canal here, yeah. it's divided into the two branches, greater and the lesser palatine, okay, here. Yeah. This is the lesser palatine, this is the greater palatine here. Yeah. So we have to do it and pass them. This is the support, this is the hard pellet here. Yeah. Okay, this is the hard pellet. And this hard pellet here, yeah, the greater pellet and branches comes here yeah, for the incisive foramen. And this is the long spinopellet and branches, which come from the nasal branches and communicate in this area in the region of the incisive foramen. And this is the canal. So in this way, the greater pericopellet and ganglia supply the four area here, the orbital area, the nasal area, the palatine area and the pharyngeal area. From this area it carries the sensation. Okay, so when we say the supply, supply means it carries the sensation. Okay. Sensory sensation, general sensation, pain, temperature, okay. But it also carries the spatial sensation of the taste through the branches of the uh, which pass the lesser palatine, it carries the soft palate sensation and also from the posterior pharyngeal valve here. Okay, and it also supplies the secretomotor fiber. Secretomotor fiber was the, here we have seen the lacrimal gland, also the nasal glands and the pharyngeal glands through this secretomotor fiber of the, yeah, the parasympathetic here. So this secretomotor fiber also passes through these uh, sensory branches and supply the glands, the mucous glands of the nasal cavity, okay and the pellet and the soft pellet in the pharyngeal area. So in this way, all of the pterygoplatin ganglia, and this pterygoplatin ganglia is very important, because this pterygoplatin ganglia is known as the ganglia of the hair fever. When there is a hair fever, meaning the hair fever is the running nose, because this ganglia supplies the different area, palatine and here, glands are supplied here, so there is a running nose occur. So when this ganglia is stimulated here, so running on the face, symptoms of the hay fever occur. So this is known as the ganglia of the hay fever. This is all about the pterygoplatin ganglia. Okay, thank you.